Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey Janae. In this video, we are gonna be talking about something a little bit different than what I normally post on my channel. Um, but it's something that I'm very passionate about and something that I feel like I should share with you guys. So in this video, we are gonna be talking about the law of attraction. One definition of the law of attraction comes from a book called The Law of Attraction and it's by Abraham Hicks. I'll put a link for that book in the description below. But the definition says that which is unto itself is drawn. So what that pretty much means is what you think about is what you will attract, whether you want it or not. For example, when you see something that you would love to experience, say you see someone who is super super rich and they have this big mansion and you're like yes i would love that life you are now inviting that kind of lifestyle into your physical reality however if you see someone who's getting robbed and you're like no no i do not want to experience that you're also inviting that experience into your physical reality because you are giving attention to it so in essence the law of attraction is saying anything that you give your attention to, you are inviting into your physical experience. So remember that anything that you give thought to, you're inviting it, you're giving it your attention because you are ultimately the creator of everything that you experience, everything that you see in your life, everything that you see in your reality, you are the creator of it. And I know that's kind of like a tough pill to swallow, especially when you think about maybe some of the negative things that have happened in your life. You're like, there's no way I would have brought that into my life. When you really sit and think about your thought patterns and you really sit and start to dissect every thought that you have, whether it be negative or positive, you will start to be able to see the pattern and see how you have actually manifested every experience that you've experienced in your life. So I first heard about the secret years ago. My aunt told me about the secret and at this point in her life she was really into the secret law of attraction um, she exposed me to crystals but I was in a place in my life where I was very closed off um, I grew up in a very how do you say it it was like a cultish type church and so my mind was very closed off I thought there was only one way that's the only way and that's it so I was not open at all to learning anything new really even diving deeper into my spiritual journey. I didn't really even equate having a spiritual journey outside of church, which was, which now that I look back on it is so bizarre to me, but that's where I was. And so I wasn't very receptive. And so I was just kind of like, mm, okay, whatever. I didn't do any more research on the seeker or anything she was talking about. Cause I just wasn't there in my life. So that was probably, in the mid 2000s. Fast forward to 2013. In the 2013 or 14, guys, I can't remember. Those years were like mushed together. But anyways, so at this time in my life, I was more open because I had lost my grandmother. Um, a lot of things that I grew up learning started not to resonate well with my soul. And so I, I remember getting to this place where I was searching for something else because I was like, this isn't, this isn't serving me. I don't feel fulfilled. I'm not interested. A lot of stuff I don't agree with. So this isn't serving me. And so I like to say that was my inner, my inner being, my higher self talking to me within me, letting me know, okay, let's search for something. And I think this was like beginning of like the guide to where I am today. I remember I remember um, getting on Netflix and I saw this movie called The Secret and a light bulb went in my head and I was like, oh my God, I remember my aunt telling me about this movie called The Secret. So I decided to watch it. And The Secret, if you haven't seen it, pretty much is all about the law of attraction. It lays out the basis of the law of attraction and how to utilize it, what it is. And it's really encouraging because there are a lot of people's personal success stories with using the law of attraction. So I remember being very inspired and just feeling really open, feeling really uplifted and being like, wow, that's so amazing. And I also remember like trying to kind of use a law of attraction, but getting a little frustrated because I was like, I don't think I'm doing this right. <laughs> so I was introduced to it then, but I wasn't fully utilizing it, if that makes sense. I wasn't fully utilizing it. I didn't fully understand how to use the law of attraction. So 
keep going in my journey. I remember starting to experience a lot of synchronicities. So let me tell you about the first one. I watched The Secret and specifically there was a guy, his name was Neil Donald Walsh, and he just reminded me kind of of Santa a little bit. His voice is very soothing and I remembered him. At this time in my life, I had had an experience that was life-changing. I got to meet one of my childhood heroes, one of my favorite singers in the world, and it was so cool because I literally realized that I spoke it into existence. And so I was like, in this open place and I was just so excited about life and I think that was like the entry point for the universe or my spirit guides to guide me and start my another level of my spiritual journey. Then something crazy happened and that favorite singer that I told you about, he recommended that I read this book. He suggested that I read this book called Conversations with God. And let me tell you how trippy, this is the synchronicity. So she tells me to read Conversations with God, right? I go on Amazon and I look up Conversations with God and guess who the author of that book was? Neil Donald Walsh. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I remember getting like chills, like I get chills. I'm getting chills right now just thinking about it. But I was so excited and I was like, I knew, I was like, I know that this was probably the main reason for me, for me to meet my favorite singer. Because had anyone else, at that time in my life, had anyone else been like, oh, read this book, I probably would have been like, yeah, yeah, okay, uh-huh. But I probably wouldn't read it or it'll take me like forever to read it. But because it was coming from someone who had such a major influence on my life, I was like, absolutely, I'm about to freaking read this book. That book changed my life. But now I'm in a place where I have read The Law of Attraction by Abraham Hicks. I have practiced The Law of Attraction and I want to share with you a couple of ways that I practice The Law of Attraction. So there are several ways that I like to manifest and use The Law of Attraction. I like to script slash journal. I like to use visualization so I use my imagination and I'm constantly learning more ways to manifest. I will do separate videos for all the different ways that I like to practice the law of attraction. I do want to end this video with my own personal manifestation story. And it's going to be the story that I told you about that favorite singer. It, because it's probably one of the most monumental, most exciting things that I actually manifested. So, let's dive into this manifestation story. I've been a fan of the singer for so long. Since I think I was like eight years old, I love the singer so much. And so, I remember at this time I was in college living with my dad. This time I still listened to the radio and I heard on the radio that that singer and another singer that she did a duet with um, was having like a intimate concert here in Atlanta. And I was like, oh my gosh, I must be there. And the only way that you could get tickets was by calling into the radio station, being the caller, and you got the tickets. So I was like, bump that, I'm about to get this. So every day up until the concert, I was calling, calling, calling. One time I think I got, a, like, I was like the person before the person that got answered. And I was like, what the hell? So I think it was like, two days before the concert, two days before the concert, and I was like, oh my gosh, like I really, really, really wanna to go to this concert, I really, really, really wanna meet this artist, I have to get these tickets. So I'm calling and calling, didn't get through. So I was like, that's okay, I, I still believe, I still believe, I remember telling myself, I still believe there is a way I'm gonna to get to this concert. So I remember going to work, and I remember before I got to work, one of the singers, not, not, well she's, I love her too, but she wasn't like my favorite favorite. One of the singers tweeted, they were gonna do a competition, her and my favorite singer were gonna do a competition on Twitter. They were gonna be giving away, giving away tickets to whoever got the correct answer first. I was like, oh my God, I am in this. <laughs> so I remember as, I, as I'm going to work, I'm gonna keep an eye on my phone, and I worked in the food court, so like to go to the bathroom, you literally had to like leave and like, go across <laughs> to go to the bathroom. So I remember seeing the artist tweet that they were about to start the concert, or that they were about to start the contest. So I was like, gotta go to the bathroom. So I'm like flying over to the bathroom in the stall. Soon as I get to the stall, she goes, who can tell me so-and-so's favorite handbag brand? And I was like, 
what? But I remember that <laughs> my favorite artist always had a Louis Vuitton. So I was like, I'm gonna go with Louis. I remember tweeting Louis Vuitton seven times in a row so fast and <laughs> just tweeting them so quickly. It's like Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. Back to back to back so that I could be seen amongst all the other people. When I tell you that that artist not only followed me back, but send me a DM and let me know that I won two tickets to see them in concert. I almost lost my shit. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I was, I can't even describe the excitement that I had. I was like, oh my gosh, not only did I get tickets, but I got tickets from the actual artist. Like what? And she followed me on Twitter, what? <laughs> so I was hyped and I just knew. I was like, I already know. When I go to this concert, I'm about to meet my favorite artist and then some. Like I was hyped, I was so amped. So day of the concert, I ended up inviting another fan of the artist. I didn't know her, but we went together. Cause I was like, I got two tickets. I'm the only one that I know that loves this artist so much. So why not invite another one of her fans, right? So I did that and went, had a great time. It was the most amazing experience. I had never seen her in concert and it was intimate. There was probably only 150 to 200 people there. So it wasn't a lot of people at all. And I just remember being so grateful to be there. But I was also anxious. I was like, oh my gosh, like after this concert, how am I gonna meet her? Like I'm so excited. So concert ends, I didn't meet her. Guys, I was crushed. I was like, oh my God, I just knew this was the time that I was gonna be here. Like, I was so sad. I was so upset that I didn't get to meet her. But I was like, I'm still grateful. Like, I was still so grateful to be able to experience what I experienced and how it happened. I was like, whole, like this doesn't happen every day. Like, I was so amped about that. So I was like, you know what, it's good, it's cool, I'm grateful. And I went about my business. I was like, at some point, I'm gonna meet her. Like, I'm, I still believed I'm gonna meet her. It wasn't this time, but it's still gonna happen. So, fast forward probably, I don't know, a couple weeks. So I'm in, it's late at night, not that late, probably like 9 p.m. And I'm on Twitter and I remember seeing that my favorite artist was in town. And I followed her best friend and I saw her best friend was in town with her too because they were tweeting about it, whatever. Um, I was like, stop, they just were tweeting about it. <laughs> Let's be clear. So um, I remember they were at um, Houston's here in Atlanta and I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. She's in my city again. That's so dope. Um, and so I remember tweeting her best friend. And I was like, oh my God, it would be so dope if you asked her to follow me on Twitter. Like, that would be so dope. And she was like, done. And I was like, what? And then I look at my phone and she had the, my favorite artist followed me on Twitter. I almost lost my shit. I was like, oh, now you know I exist in life. <laughs> Like, I thought that was just the coolest thing ever. So I was like, see? And, and, and I remember thinking in my mind, like, this is my confirmation. I know it's about to come. Like, I already know. I remember at one point, I had, she had a new song come out. And I, I was part of, like, <laughs> the street team on helping promote her album. So I wrote on the back of my car and, like, those um, window markers. I was young, my, I was in my young 20s, guys, don't judge me. <laughs> in those window markers, I wrote the title of her song, the single, and who it was by. I remember taking a picture of it and posting it on Twitter, and people were retweeting it. And I remember she responded to it, and I was like, oh my God. I had all these like little moments. Um, and so, you know, I was excited. I was excited to have met, at this point, I think I had met some people that were also her fan. And it was just exciting to kind of be a part of like a community like that, right? So Atlanta has this event called For Sisters Only. And a lot of artists, there'll be like a lot of vendors and a lot of artists will come and perform. And this particular year, my favorite artist was coming to perform. And so at this point I had a lot of little friends. It was weird because I started meeting people that knew her directly, not intentionally. I just would like be tweeting people or for example, for example, I had like this little group of friends on Twitter. We were just tweeting each other. Each other. I thought they were super cool. And later I find out that they actually knew her. And I was like, that's trippy. And then I remember being at one of my friends graduation party and one of her friends that she met 
from a friend um, came and we were just talking or whatever. And I think I had that single on my car at that time. And so we were talking about it. She was like, yeah, I've met her a couple of times. She's really cool. And I was just like, what? Again, synchronicities, guys. So I remember just thinking like, like internally i was like it's gonna come like there wh why all of a sudden am i meeting all these people that know her directly that is so crazy to me um but anyways so for sisters only so i was like uh duh i'm going to the concert right so i go to the concert with a, a lot again meet up with a lot of her fans which was so cool like it's cool to go someplace to see someone with a group of people that like that same person. Like, that's a cool vibe. So anyway, so we're at the concert. I'm enjoying the show. I was supposed to meet up with one of the friends and I think she ended up coming like later. And so we didn't like enjoy the concert together. But I remember right before she got off the stage, my that friend had texted me. She was like, come backstage. And I'm like, come backstage? Bitch, who you think I am? Like, what you mean come backstage? And so, but my intuition was like, just do it. Like, just do it. Take that opportunity and just go backstage. So I had a couple of other friends with me. And I remember in my mind, I was thinking, if I look like I know what I'm doing, nobody's going to stop me. So <laughs> that's the mindset I had. And so... The way it was set up, it was like there was a stage and there was like these walls, but they had doors. And then behind the stage, it was like all this space. And then further back, there's like a hallway with another set of doors. So I go through the first little set of doors or, or it might have been a curtain. I don't know. Go past there. There's like no one there. So I'm like, OK. And my friends are kind of behind me but not really straight behind me but I am just like walking with a mission like I'm not correct I'm not looking to the side I'm not communicating with him I'm walking with a purpose like I belong back there and so I go back there and we all get back there and I walk and I see my friend so I go straight to her my other friends were kind of looking a little confused. There, I remember there being a security guard at the door. And I think because there was like that confusion, they were sent back. I'm not really sure because I had my mission and I was focused. Um, so um, I meet up with my friend and we're back there. And I think I saw like a couple of other artists and I was like, this is so dope right now. Um, but I remember feeling like really anxious and I'm like, what's gonna happen? Like, what are we doing back here? And I remember, Someone come in there like everybody go into a room if you don't want to get kicked out go into a room So we go up off into this side room and next thing you know In the hallway is my favorite artist and I'm like holy What's going on and I'm gonna be like just ecstatic and shock and disbelief and so we <laughs> We were in the room just chilling and she's like taking pictures of people and I'm just walk I'm just looking like in amazement like she's right there. This is crazy. Um, Cause mind you, all I ever wanted to do was take a picture and say I met her. Let's keep that in mind. That was my intention. That was my wish. Just to meet her, take a picture. It was so great. I got to meet her like so dope, right? So then I go out there and I started talking to another artist. I, started, I tried to kind of like play it off like I wasn't like super like jumping up and down inside <laughs> so I ended up like trying to talk to somebody else being like hey yeah chit chat or whatever but then my friend ended up talking to her and then it was time for my time to meet her and my heart was racing my heart was racing okay like so racing and it was so crazy because my friend one of my friends that I met on Twitter um, when I told her I was going to the concert she was like give her a message for me and I was just like what if I don't meet her? How am I going to give her a message? But it was crazy because her, she believed that I was going to meet her, which was, I think, kind of amplified that whole situation. When more than one person believes the same thing, it is highly amped to happen, okay? We'll get into that in another video. But anyway, so I was like, okay, I'll give her a message when I meet her, right? So I was like, oh my, oh shit, I'm about to meet her. So I was like, I'm going to say what I need to say. I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> and then I'll give her the message and then we'll take a picture and la di da -di, we like to party. My friend that was there with me, she goes, this is the girl that wrote XYZ on her car. And I was like, she was like, oh, that was you? And I remember just like a rush of heat <laughs> going through my body. I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I remember just grinning. Like, I didn't know what to say. Like, what do you say when you first meet?
meet the person that you looked up to for like your whole life? I don't fucking know. So I just remember smiling. That's like my scapegoat for everything. I just smile. <laughs> Gave her a great big hug. And she remember her telling me, um, thank you for being such a great supporter. And that just felt so good. Like it felt really good. I was like, I felt accomplished. I was like, this is so fucking bomb. Like, and I spoke this shit. Like I really did. So that was such a cool experience, but it gets even better. So <laughs> that happened. And then she turns back to my friend. She was like, what are you guys doing tonight? And I was, I ain't have no plans. Like that was my plans for the day for sisters only. And so she's like, you guys should come out to such and such club and party with us. And I was like, what, who, huh? I was like, fucking right. I was just like in a state of shock, like, wow. And so that night I partied with my favorite artist and I was just in a state of shock. I was just like, and she was so sweet. Um, her brother ended up being there. So I did get a chance to meet him. And it was just such a cool vibe. Like, it was so cool. And I was just like, wow. Like, I remember feeling so grateful. I was like, people dream about an experience like this. And I am literally living it because I believed that I was going to meet her. But the thing about when you manifest something, when you want something, you desire something, and your intentions are pure, you're going to get way more than you ever imagined. Because remember, I said, I just wanted to meet her, take a picture, and be like, yes, I finally met my favorite artist. Not only did I get to meet her, not only did she register who I was in her mind, not only was she sweet, but I got to party with her too. So that was just like supreme. And that story continues because over time, like I said it previously, we hung out more, more times, got to go to more concerts. Guys, I got to go to 106 and Park. I got to be in her dressing room. It really, truly was a really cool once in a lifetime. Well, I won't even say once in a lifetime. It was a cool ass experience. And if I wanted to manifest a similar experience, I really could, because I did it before. But yes, guys, I know that was a long story, but I really wanted to give you kind of like a background and a little bit more detail. But I leave this video letting you know that you you are in control of your reality. Anything that you desire, you can bring forth into your physical reality. Anything that you're dreaming about, anything that you're thinking about is already yours because you already have a vision for it. You can already see it. So that means it is very possible for it to be experienced in your physical reality. All you need to do is focus on what it is that you want. Do not give attention to the things that you don't want. Please do not give attention to the things that you don't want. Focus on what you do want. Focus on things that make you happy, things that bring you joy, and everything that you desire in your life will come to you. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. I have many more manifestation stories, but I wanted to end off with this one. And yes, guys, thank you so, so much for tuning into this video. I know it's a different one, but there are gonna be way more videos like this. This is something that I'm passionate about and something that I hope inspires you and uplifts you. And until my next video, I love you, keep your vibes up, and only focus on the good. Peace.